How to catch a serial killer The FBI usually builds a criminal profile, analyzing the crime to decipher who did it. But knowing who the killer is won't help you capture him when he's the most potent dark mage in history, and catching him won't stop him when he conveniently divided his soul into seven pieces and concealed six of them in things known as Horcruxes. Dumbledore's suspicions led to him and Harry spending hours sifting through Voldemort's memories. To the point that Harry asks why is it so important to know all this about Voldemort's past. Dumbledore wanted to know what kind of dark magic Voldemort was up to. And if it was Horcruxes, how many and which objects he used. To Dumbledore, Voldemort's past is key. Join us, for today on Fantasy Archive we will journey like Harry and Dumbledore, analyzing you-know-who's backstory to understand what he did and why he did it. Voldemort. His birth name was Tom Riddle. He was a naturally gifted child who worked hard to achieve his status and position at Hogwarts. Yet something in him rejected the kind of success most people wanted. He was rooted in the path of evil. But why? What was his endgame, and what were his motives for it? Tom Marvolo Riddle was an English-born half-blood wizard. He was born at Wool's Orphanage on December 21st, 1926, to Tom Riddle Sr. and Merope Riddle Gant. Merope was a witch, and lived next to the rich and handsome muggle Tom Riddle. Merope had an unhappy childhood. She was abused by both her father and brother. To get away from her home, she pursued Tom, with whom she was infatuated. She used a love potion to make him fall for her, and soon they got married. When Tom Sr. came to know of the love potion, he left Merope while she was still pregnant with his child. At childbirth, Merope dies, but not before naming her son after her husband and her father's middle name, Marvolo. Marvolo Gant and Merope's brother Morfin Gant were of the House of Gant. They were the last known male Slytherin and pure-blood descendants of Salazar Slytherin. The family used to be wealthy, but all of it was squandered before Marvolo was even born. They only owned Salazar Slytherin's locket and ring. Later on, Merope sells the locket to the owner of Borgin and Burke. Tom Riddle grew up in the orphanage. Being born under the influence of a love potion, he was incapable of love. He had inherited his father's good looks. Although he was oblivious to his parentage and wizarding heritage, he discovered his abilities at a young age and used them to his advantage with ease. Tom could manipulate animals and even speak parcel tongue, the language of snakes. He was clever and talented, yet infamous for being a bully and enjoying hurting other children. He would always keep trophies of his victims, rewarding himself for his acts of unkindness. He was highly self-sufficient, and to be secretive and friendless is what he preferred. He loved being different and isolated. He enjoyed the notoriety he earned. At age 11, Dumbledore visits him and makes him realize his wizarding heritage. Tom's thirst for knowledge and enhancing his skills made him eager to leave the orphanage and go to Hogwarts. Dumbledore was shook. He felt uneasy with his obvious instincts for secrecy, domination, and knack for cruelty. It is at Hogwarts we see Tom's charisma start to show. He was assigned to House Slytherin. His good looks and charm drew the attention and sympathy of the staff. He was known as a handsome, quiet, and brilliant young man with a thirst for knowledge. Tom was elected prefect in the fifth year and was one of Hogwarts' top students. On the other hand, he would keep cultivating his darkness. He gathered a group of thugs who would later become his army of Death Eaters. He would say they were friends, but he didn't really care for them. They were more of his servants committing petty crimes on his behalf. He would also learn dark magic and get acquainted with the process of making a horcrux. As a child, Tom idolized his father and believed him to be a wizard. So at school, he delved deep into finding his family history and discovered his father was a muggle. He originally thought his father would be the magical one, since he thought death was a muggle weakness. He had to accept his mother wasn't the muggle, his father was. He was extremely disgusted and changed his muggle name to Lord Voldemort. The new name was an anagram of his real name, and also translated to Flight of Death in French. The name was an apt description of Tom's goal, for he possessed the most common human fear, 
the fear of death. He would go beyond measure to avoid it, so he became obsessed with achieving power and immortality. Tom Riddle quickly learned of his connection to Salazar Slytherin. He believed the pure-blood wizards alone were superior. It wouldn't take him long to discover the Chamber of Secrets. Slytherin left it with the intention of purging the school from all those unworthy to study magic, the Muggleborns. He tamed the Basilisk, a giant serpent who caused death to those who looked into its eyes. The Basilisk petrified many, but eventually got Voldemort his first kill, Myrtle Warren. With Myrtle's death, he creates his first Horcrux, his diary. After the murder, Hogwarts was at risk of closing. He knew Hagrid had a giant pet spider, Aragog, and framed him. That summer, Tom met his uncle Morphin. He learned that his father was not only a mere muggle, but that he also abandoned him and his mother. Tom was disappointed. His hero was a weak, heartless muggle responsible for his mother's grief and eventually death. A muggle who, despite being wealthy, let his son suffer in an orphanage. His lack of love did not equal lack of hate. His hatred for his father would only intensify his disgust for muggles and mudbloods. Tom took his uncle's wand and killed his father and grandparents. He framed his uncle for the crime and altered his memory. Tom then took the guard's family's signet ring and created his second Horcrux. His search for immortality was set in motion. His goals were now clearer than ever. He wanted to rid the wizarding world of non-pure bloods. Tainted blood was weaker than magic blood. He focused mainly on mudbloods, muggle-born wizards. He spares half-bloods since he even recruited some for his Death Eater army. The one exception was when he tried to recruit Lily Potter. He would have spared her life on Snape's behalf. He wanted power to become the most powerful wizard. That's why he was fixated with pure blood, dark magic, and the Elder Wand. But most importantly, he wanted to live forever. He sought to cheat death itself. Everything else he did, from recruiting the Death Eaters to setting his objectives and strategies to conquer, was secondary. Voldemort's greatest fear, his phobia, was death. Avoiding it was his main priority. Therefore, he unnaturally tried to extend his life by using Horcruxes, the Philosopher's Stone, Unicorn Blood, and many other things. Young Tom Riddle fit many of the cliches of serial killers that had been around for a while. His parents were unhappy, he was a loner, he tormented other children, and he tortured animals. He would also collect trophies. This specifically would linger in Dumbledore's mind. After the incident with Tom Riddle's diary and the basilisk, Dumbledore remained suspicious. He knew Voldemort was working with dark magic. Horcruxes. He thought if he had been that sloppy with the diary, treating it as an expendable, then he would have created more than one. However, Dumbledore still has a significant unresolved issue. How many Horcruxes were there in total? So he lures Slughorn to teach back at Hogwarts and uses Harry to get the original memory of one of his conversations with Tom Riddle. Finally, we see Tom getting confirmation from Slughorn that one can make more than one Horcrux. Voldemort had the intent to make seven. If there is something we learned from Voldemort's memories is he does not like common things, and he does like trophies. There was no way he would choose random objects for Horcruxes. He would want items of great magical value. To identify and locate the other Horcruxes, Harry and Dumbledore ventured into a game of luck and guesswork. After Voldemort left Hogwarts, his request to teach defense against the Dark Arts was rejected. Tom declined many other offers to join the Ministry of Magic and began working at a dark magic shop, Borgin and Burks. His aim was to locate and retrieve the Gaunt family heirloom locket and the gold cup belonging to Helga Hufflepuff for creating Horcruxes. Tom killed Hepzibah, who was in possession of both. In total, Voldemort created eight Horcruxes, which were Tom Riddle's diary, Morvolo Gant's ring, Salazar Slytherin's locket, Helga Hufflepuff's cup, Romana Ravenclaw's diadem, Nagini, and the secret Horcrux, Harry. The secret Horcrux was one that everyone, including Voldemort himself, was unaware of.